This video is brought to you by newqbo.com. Newqbo.com, that's our website. So we have, we have all kinds of helpful tips, great articles and video tutorials. Uh, so you may want to check it out. So in this video, I'm going to focus on startup accounts, import and export. So it, it's export and import from uh, one QBOs to another QBO uh, company. So you may want to export one one uh, you have good uh, charter accounts in one QBO company, you want to export uh, that charter account to another uh, and import to another company. So it's import charter accounts uh, from Excel to uh, QBO company. And the other one is uh, if you have a new company, it's uh, 60 days or less, and you want to start from scratch, and you are pretty good, you know what whatever charter accounts you want and you want to import to uh, into QuickBooks Online. Okay, those I'm going to cover those three. I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online in here. I'm already logged in. I'm going to go to Chart of Accounts from Accounting, Dashboard, Accounting. You can also go from Upper uh, uh, Gear in here. Chart of Account, it will take you the same place. Since it's already on Dashboard, Accounting is right here, Chart of Accounts. Okay, so this is the, let's say this is the chart of accounts I want to import. This one doesn't have a, a account number. So if you want to uh, assign account number, you could do so in here or, or from the Excel file. Okay, so if you were just wondering how to get the account number in here, so what you have to do is from the gear, account settings, and then advanced, advanced, and start of accounts is right here. It's off right now, and you can make this on if you want. Make this on. Okay, and then done. So now you have uh, account number as well. Right here, right? Okay, so in case you don't see it after you enable it, it's because it's part of in here columns. Right now you don't see it, so you have to add uh, from your middle gear in here. Okay, so okay, so so what will import and what won't import in QuickBooks Online? Okay, so it will import account number, it will import account name, it will import account type, it will import account detail type. Okay, that's it. One, two, three, four. So it won't import uh, description or uh, or name. I don't have it in here. I don't have it in here. But, but on the report, you will see it. So it won't import uh, balance in here. No balance. Okay. So let's say you 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 want to sign account number in here. So you gotta have a plan numbering uh, numbering scheming scheme plan in here. You know how to uh, sign account number in chart of accounts. So the Game plan is uh, in here, a little pencil in here. Now you can edit. So game plan is you, you need to assign an account number by type. Let's say for account, for bank type, it's 1001. And uh, if you don't have plan, you don't want to assign, like let's say for accounts payable, 1002. It doesn't work that way, you know. So you need to know how to assign uh, account number. So you need to assign the account uh, type. Let's say from this example, 1001 is for bank, 1101 11, 11, 11, 11 for uh, accounts civil, and then for the accounts payable, it would be 2001, like this, and for credit card, other current liabilities, it would be 2101, something like this, okay? And equity is three thousand one, and uh, income is always four thousand one. Four thousand one, okay. And the cost of goods sold is five thousand one. Okay, and then down to expense is uh, six thousand. Six thousand one, and within expense, if you have certain way of separating type, then you want to make it uh, uh, 6100 or you know, like 
say travel is 6101, something like that. And then underneath you see other expense type, and that one would be 7001. So something like this, okay? Okay. And uh, one thing uh, you should know is uh, uh, this is sub account, and it won't import sub account. So it has to be all parent account, no sub account. If you have sub account in your spreadsheet, uh, you know, then it won't import. So if you try to import, uh, you know, these two sub accounts, it won't import. So you have to make this like parent account, like uh, like this one, parent account. Okay. So uh, so this is the way to uh, uh, you know number your chart of accounts. That's just a tip. I'm going to cancel this. I'm not going to import number for this example. Okay. So now I'm going to run a report right here. I'm going to turn off the uh, uh, account number setting. Okay, it's off now. So. Many companies don't do the account numbers anymore. Okay, so here's the report. It's basically the strong report. Okay, here's the report. In case you're wondering how I did that. See, so run report right here, run report. Okay, so here's a uh, chart of accounts report. And as I said, the, if you have uh, sub accounts like these, you know, you can't import, you have to edit, make it a parent account. Okay, so, uh, so in here, all you have to do now, so since you don't want, you can import these two, you can import balance, you don't want, you don't want to import balance, you, know, you can't you can import description or, or a, a sub account. So at least for the columns, or the, you can remove balance, you can do this in edit later on too, but you can do it right here. You can do it. Okay, let's say this is the one you want to export. All you have to do is select export Excel, and it's already in here, and uh, then you have to you open it. Just open it. I already done one in here. This one I did in the description. I'll show you why I did that. Okay, so now I save this on desktop. See, so when I save desktop, we're talking about right here this is desktop that way you can easily see it you know uh, and uh, yeah, import it okay so here it is so we have a bunch of uh, sub accounts and so you have to edit right here you know if you don't edit uh, it's not gonna work you know so you have to edit in here make it like a parent account like this in here like this you know okay so you have to edit those. Okay. So now I'm ready to go to another company and uh, uh, import. So this is another company. Okay. So accounting. Right now I only have a few uh, default accounts. Default accounts. I don't have anything. Okay. So I'm going to import right here. Import. There's import under new. Import. Okay, so you can download a sample file from here too. Okay, but it will say the same thing. Browse, it's right here. So it's on desktop, easy to find in this example. And next. Okay, so as you can see, we, we, we don't have account number. So if you have account number, it will match. And no match, this, this happens to be for the description one. So you don't want to import this one uh, as account number. So only three. Okay, so basically it will import only four. Detail type, account name, account number and type, and no sub account, and no balance. Next. Okay, so it has uh, everything in here. Since this one has uh, a bunch of sub accounts, you can't import it, see? It's all blocked in here, that's why it's blocked. So for this example, I'm just gonna uncheck and select uh, just one or two, you know? One or two accounts. 
Okay, just select those two. And maybe uh, one more in here uh, for the income, for the labor, let's say. Okay, so that's all I'm going to import. Import. This will go really fast. It's already imported, see? So this is how we have to import it, okay? The labor, these are the ones that we I just imported only a few. We check in count, only a few. So, so that's how you import it. Uh, make sure to edit uh, your sub accounts. And if there is reason, you're getting error and anything, so that's due to your, uh, uh, with your uh, uh, format. So you have to edit your Excel. Okay, so so we covered uh, uh, these two: export, import from QBO to QBO, and import import startup accounts, right? Okay, so this one I'm going to uh, start now. Start from scratch, start up account in your company. New company. Remember I said new company. So this is a new company, and it's uh, still 60 days or less, okay? So what you need to do is, uh, okay, so what you need to do is, let's say you're on dashboard in here, okay? So you need to wipe out everything. If you have data, this one doesn't have any data. So you have a data, uh, it will override everything. It will also uh, override your charter account. So it will override everything, including uh, including your, your data and also charter account. But they, they, do, they do keep few uh, default accounts in your charter account. Okay, so uh, what you need to do is uh, in here, homepage. So I got an article in here. This is our website. Remember, go to newqbo.com and we have done an article in here. So all you have to do is just change uh, home page to first company. Change from home page to first company. And remember, this has to be new company, 60 days or less. Uh, if it's like a 90 days old company, you can't do it. Okay, so that means uh, you're stuck with the uh, your chart of account. Okay, so I'm just going to change this to first company. And when you import, as I said, it won't uh, uh, override... Uh, or override uh, existing uh, startup account, it will uh, basically add. So uh, in this case, I want to first wipe out the company data and I want to start uh, fresh startup accounts. Okay, so it'll, it'll tell you, are you sure you want to wipe out your company, you know, and said, yes. Okay, so at the bottom, you'll see, it tells you right here, you have 60 days to wipe out. Okay, and uh, say yes. Okay, so this is the one we have to be careful in here. It says create accounts based on my industry recommended, and you are good. You are accountant. Uh, so you want to create an empty chart of account, uh, and then import your own chart of account. So you got to you got to make sure uh, this one the type of business. It, you can select the type of business you want and then wipe data okay so once when you wipe data there's no going back so you got to be careful all right i'm ready so it goes really fast all you have to do is just this uh, click this wipe data button and it goes really fast so, because i don't have any data in here i'm gonna do it so what happens there we go it's done it's nothing there now i want to go back to Accounting. All right, so here we go. These are the default ones. Uh, you can't delete these. They, they will keep one current asset, one equity account, one income account, and the other one is uncategorized income and uncategorized uh, expense account. So these are like default accounts type. So you want to import again, press, very good one, then start over again. Same thing, right? Browse. And on your desktop, you have a new chart of accounts. Next. Okay. We went through this. Next. All right. So we can't import all these because uh, you have a bunch of sub accounts in there. I just want to import one or two. A few in here. Let's say two bank accounts. And uh, this is an example, you know. Uh, if you have... Uh, in Excel, you, everything without uh, sub account, you can import all. That's the whole idea. You want to import all. Okay. All right. This is all I'm going to import. 
that's it. It's done. See, imported all these. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. Hope it's helpful. And be sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have two channels. Two channels. YouTube.com forward slash PP controller. YouTube.com forward slash QuickBooks QBO. Thank you. Bye.